possible that this implementer will not it, so that the money won't be reinstated? Is that is that a possible option? Here? I think all options are possible right. while we're undergoing the review. And then, just lastly on this, it, it, it appears so since the first reports came out and the suspension was announced, mm -hmm. it, it has come out that the, this this organization that, that was getting U.S. taxpayer money was some of the people that it was attacking worked for U.S. taxpayer-funded organizations. Mm -hmm. Is that in any way appropriate? Again, the, the GEC found that their implementer went beyond the scope of their contract, and that's why their contract has been suspended. They're under a review, a review. and the GEC's leadership um, has, of course, uh, spent time and, and had a meeting with them to outline initially what uh, they did that went beyond the scope. Right. I think what that's are, all I have Well, what, what are they going to do, not specifically in this, what yeah. are they going to do to that's make sure this doesn't that. happen in the future with this or any other yeah, the, uh, pro project. Whether it's the GEC or any other uh, institution within the Department of State, uh, we work judiciously to review what our implementers and contractors do around the world. And we have a variety of mechanisms, including the IG, which does uh, its own internal reviews for every contract that the State Department produces, and we'll follow the same guidelines with the GEC. Go yeah, ahead. I have to Um, the Chinese Foreign Ministry's office in Hong Kong has issued a formal protest over a reported meeting between U.S. consular officials in the city and opposition figures. Mm -hmm. The statement demanded the U.S. explain the purpose of the meeting and, uh, quote, immediately cease interfering in Hong Kong's affairs. Do you have anything on that meeting and in reaction to the How did you statement? characterize the first sentence? Can you say that again? It was the Chinese foreign ministry uh -huh. office in Hong Kong. Uh, but, how, but what did you say that, that they issued a, you said, read your first statement again. A formal protest? Yeah. I don't think that, that leaking an American diplomat's uh, private information, pictures, names of their children, I don't think that that's a formal protest. That is what a thuggish regime would do. That's not how a responsible nation would, would behave. Um, Releasing any of that personal information of an American diplomat is completely unacceptable. That's not a protest. That's what a thuggish regime does, and it's unacceptable. To Mexico. Okay, just to clarify, um, what exactly was different than what the agreements that were mm -hmm. nearly reached in December? on this. The, the, the Secretary didn't mention any points that were actually different. I don't think that's fair. I, th I mean, I think that he mentioned a number of points. The President has tweeted about it as well. Um, and we certainly laid out in the joint declaration, which was released Friday night, uh, the ways in which that the U.S. and Mexican government would be working together. As I just said, I think at the top, um, this is the, be the largest ever deployment of Mexican security uh, forces to its southern border. Uh, Mexico is, of course, committed to taking operational control of its uh, yeah, southern I, I, border. I, I, Mexico is committed. This, but how does that differ from December? This is what I'm telling you. You can interrupt, but the answer will be the same. Uh, 